Hi everyone, my name is Yuval Freilich and I received this fencing dummy to add to my fencing exercises to my regimen. And uh, I'm going to try to do a few drills, see how it works. I can say that the first good thing that I can see about it is that it moves around, you have to keep your distance. It's a dynamic dummy. Second thing is that it doesn't have any electricity and no engines. It works on springs, basically. So when you touch it, it moves back and forth based on strings and the pull of the springs. Third thing, it looks like a fun, fun toy to play with. It goes back and forward. It looks more interesting than just fencing against the target or hitting a target, which is more static. This dummy is more, more, more mobile. And I can also say that it really keeps you on your toes. You have to keep your distance. You have to move. Because it keeps moving, it changes distance. It changes pace, it changes rhythm. You have to change pace and rhythm with it. So I'm going to try a few exercises, a few drills on the dummy now. And the good thing about it is that you can really adapt yourself according to your level. You can do beginner's drills, intermediate drills, more complicated drills. And you can really adapt because it moves. You adapt yourself to the distance and the timing. And you really have to understand because it can be pretty surprising. You have to adapt yourself to the timing and to the distance of the dummy. I'm going to try a few things. So for beginners, touch. You can see that I really have to find the right time and the right distance to touch. Had I tried to touch too early, it would have been too far away. Had I tried to touch too late, it would have been too close. So the movement of the, the dynamic motion of the dummy is really important for that in that sense. I'm going to try a few more things. I can do the same drill with all sorts of different finishing options, touching options. I can do it to the thigh, to the foot, for example. Another thing that you can do, of course, is regular parry cost. I'm going to start with my attack. The dummy ran away from me a few times. If you don't get the timing right, you'll miss it. And that's why it's so similar sometimes to what happens in a bout. If you don't find the right timing in the right distance, you will miss. I'm gonna try something a bit more complex. We'll see how it goes. Maybe a bit with parry or post, work on the blade a bit. Use everything the dummy has to offer. It's not easy, as you can see, you really have to move, you have to keep your distance, you always have to work. As soon as you lose concentration, you're going to miss the time, you're going to miss the distance, and you're not going to touch. Whew. Hard work. So I've done a bit of exercise with the dummy, done a bit of drills on it, and I can say a few things. One is that it really makes you work if you compare it to just a regular target. You always have to move, you have to keep your distance, you have to move your feet, you always have to be on the ball, otherwise you're not going to be able to touch as clean as you want to. The second thing, it really is the stage before going on and fencing against an opponent or having a lesson. You've always got to keep your distance. You've always got to keep moving because of the fact that it moves back and forth and it's always changing also the rhythm and also the distance. It's really one stage before the actual bat itself. It's just fun, fun for me to use. It's not boring. I always have to adapt. I've always got to be in touch with the distance again and with what the dummy is doing. It's a great toy.